Good morning. The last time I was in front of this building was when I took the Mercedes EQS to Goa on one single charge. Well, today it is another S from Mercedes. It is this, the GLS, and I am heading towards a very different but interesting place. Regardless of how many times I come here, it always fascinates me. This is the newly built Atal Setu Bridge, which connects Mumbai to Navi Mumbai and vice versa via a 21.8 km long bridge through the Arabian Sea. It is indeed an infrastructural marvel and looks fascinating. By the way, talking about looks, the GLS now looks more imposing thanks to the legendary G-Class inspired grille and the Mercedes Maybach inspired trim and interior elements which give it a very premium appeal. I'm right now standing at a very iconic place in Mumbai. This is the famous bull. This is the common man of Mumbai. and right there is the bombay stock exchange situated on dalal street there's a very interesting story behind dalal street and why is it called so in the 1850s stock brokers would conduct business under a banyan tree in front of the mumbai town hall after a few decades of various meeting locations dalal street was formally selected in 1874 as a location for the native share and stock brokers association and the organization would eventually become the bombay stock exchange it is one of the largest stock exchanges in the world which lists more than 5300 companies and helped mumbai become the financial capital of india the importance of the large street to india is similar to that of wall street to the united states of america The Mercedes GLS is equipped with a state of the art sound system from Bemester. It has 13 speakers with 590 watts of output and Dolby Atmos. That coupled with the fantastic insulation due to the laminated glass and acoustic film results in a first class surround sound experience. <laughs> By the way this car has infrared absorption films which prevent the car from heating up and there's additional protection against harmful uv rays too. I'm at the Mumbai border and from the city of dreams I'm headed towards dream city. Let's go. Now you might be wondering why am I leaving the national highway and getting onto internal roads but there's a reason for it right now the Gujarat Mumbai highway which will be an extension of the Delhi Mumbai expressway is under construction which causes long traffic jams and congestion which is why i decided to take the internal coastal road which is around 82 kilometers and from dhanu it will almost take me to walsad actually just before it Due to the monsoon the road is a bit broken. I am being nice when I say bit because some patches are horribly broken. But since I am in the flagship Mercedes SUV, I don't have to worry about bad roads as the ride comfort of the GLS is very good.
Look at the view. Whatever you do, you will never ever get such amazing and serene feel from your offices. And talking about offices, this GLS could be your office on wheels with the features it offers. Like the dual 12.3 inch high resolution screens, 11 USB-C charging ports with 100 watt fast charging, 5 zone climate control air conditioning, rear seat entertainment system with dual 11.6 inch screens, soft pillows for the rear headrest and a tablet in the center armrest to control most functions of the car. The MBUX voice assistant is very advanced and can recognize from which seat a Hey Mercedes keyword activation has started. Hey Mercedes, how can I help? The GLS is equipped with 9 airbags including side and knee airbags, level 2 ADAS and has the ability to park itself due to the 12 ultrasonic sensors and 360 degree camera. The GLS is equipped with 4 corner air suspension and can seat 7 people in utmost comfort. It can also accommodate all their luggage. In fact, the last two rows can be folded in multiple ways with a touch of a button, making the GLS a very practical car. Anyways, right now it's 2.30, which means I need to get going because I need to reach Surat. Both the petrol and diesel engines of the GLS are quite powerful and offer effortless performance. Both the engines are extremely smooth and refined and they get 48 volt mild hybrid technology giving it an additional boost of 20 horsepower and 200 newton meters making the GLS quite fast. In fact, the car glides over the worst of roads and this being the petrol really sounds nice in the higher end of the rev range. Yeah, and making a quick overtake is also very effortless here because of the punch on offer. I reached Surat around 9 pm. The journey was quite lavish thanks to the GLS. I decided to wind down and checked into the hotel because tomorrow I have something very interesting to show you all. Good morning from Surat. Now I'm going to try some local delicacies, have some breakfast and then head towards the final destination. Surat is the second largest city of Gujarat state and just like how Mumbai is called the financial capital, Surat is called the diamond city. Surat's journey to diamond dominance began in the 18th century when skilled diamond cutters from Africa made it their home. Over time, the local Gujarati population honed their expertise in processing, polishing and cutting diamonds, creating a thriving diamond ecosystem. Right now, Surat cuts and polishes over 90% of Gujarat's diamonds. And it is said that 8 out of 10 diamonds in the world are processed in Gujarat, which is huge and it has managed to do so because of its cultural and natural resources. That building behind me holds the Guinness World Record for being the largest office building in the world. You know who it beat? The Pentagon. It is called the Surat Diamond Bose and is part of the Diamond Research and Mercantile City or in short, the Dream City. It is spread over 35 acres and has over 4,000 office spaces to cater to national and international diamond businesses. It has the capacity to accommodate over 70,000 employees. There are technology, skill development and innovation centers too, which will help in gemological research and manufacturing technologies. One thing to note here is, apart from the office building, the surrounding area is not much developed and the lack of social life and other options around is making Mumbai diamond traders reluctant to move their businesses here. In the coming future, there will be a lot of development happening around, which can make Surat the diamond hub for India. This now brings me to the end of the journey. We all are busy during our day-to-day -day life with work. But when you have something like the GLS, you can take your office wherever you like. Relax, rejuvenate and enjoy the lavish and comfortable ride of this car. The Mercedes GLS is a very stylish way to travel. It's comfortable, luxurious, loaded with tech and features and is quite powerful too. 
and that is why I am now going to double my fun by driving back to Mumbai in this car. Six and a half hours and 300 kilometers of pure driving pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give the thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment because I am reading all comments today. Back to the city of dreams.